Do you miss playing basketball? No. <laughs> what may I ask why? I don't know. I, I, for me, it's a life that's past. I try to live now, in the present, right? Well, as I know, that was. I, oh, don't get me wrong. I, I appreciate that past, that life. But oh, it, it just doesn't. Well, how does it feel na people like me still remember you? Oh, I love it. Of course, di ba? May lalapit sa yung oi, Franz, ikaw ba si? Yeah, ako yun. I love it. But I don't dwell on that, you know. But I appreciate people coming up to me and saying, "Oi, eto pa." Tatay ko ay idol ka ng tatay ko. <laughs> I go salamat. Sir, yung guildies nyo, yung parang hindi abrupt yung retirement nyo, did it matter to you? Or when did you feel na you, it was time to stop playing ball? You know, what happened was 1986. Um, that was the first year he never ever won or uh, the championship, uh, a conference, right? But I remember right after, before the third conference, I was injured. So I didn't play the third conference, the last conference where we had Michael Hackett and they won. But before that conference, I left for the United States. And I said, when I was there, I said, Tama na, you know. My heart wasn't in the game anymore. It was a chore to wake up every morning and have to play. I said, I don't want to play this way, you know. I don't want to play half-hearted. Wala na yung puso ko eh. So, sabi ko, tama na. So I called, said, Thank you. <coughs> Ever since now, what have you been doing after playing basketball? What have you been doing? From '86 to now? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, man! We need three hours here. <laughs> in a in a minute. Okay. Um, I worked the last 20 years. I worked for the state of California. I had other jobs, you know, but. Uh, finally, when I was maybe, I don't know, 45, 50, I said, I'm going to work for the state of California. So I did for 15 years and made my mark um, and said when I was like maybe 65, seven years ago, I said, you know what, Tama na. I'm going to enjoy my grandkids now, you know, and so I retired. And Life is just can you have an exhibit? Can you tell us more about this? Yeah. <clears throat> On the 29th of November, yeah. I'm having an, an exhibit here in, in Legacy Art Gallery of Dante Silverio. Dante, like I said earlier, he just, you know, he's always there. So when he heard that I was going to exhibit, he said, Going mo na sa gallery ko. So I said, okay, fine. So it's going to be here on the 29th. This is my second exhibit in Manila. First one was 2018, I think. It's the second one. You know, ganito lang yan. I am nowhere near a, a master painter. Nowhere, right? But, you know, God has just blessed me with the passion, the desire to put the pencil into the paper. You know? And I started this seven years ago. That's how young I am in this field. But every night before I sleep, I'm already thinking, what will I paint tomorrow? What? And then the next day when I wake up, eight hours, I'm just thinking. I talked about Dante Silverio teaching us perseverance and hard work. That's all it is. Put in the hours and there's no way but to improve. You know? In my case, in the field of art, I must say the bar is set kind of low. Sino ba tong front? Ito basketball, hindi na mo Right? So the expectation is not this high. So when they see my work, they go, wow! May sinasabi ito eh. You know? And if you want to summarize my work, um, it's not really the, 
the expertise of being a master, getting every stroke well. It's what the painting is saying to you.